Linda McDonald. Juicy Scoop. Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop. I have your favorite comedic duo <laughs> of Julie and Brandy. Brandy and Julie. Julie and Brandy, welcome <laughs> back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Happy to be here. Yes, wonderful. And you'll be joining us um, in <sighs> Napa Valley at the Krug Winery, 530, yep. 830, a week from Friday, June 17th. Oh. We're just talking about our big plans. Can't wait. All the places we're going, how you're getting there. <laughs> so no, upscale. Nothing is so upscale. figured out yet, but <laughs> no. we will figure it out. By the time we get there, yes. I just hope that it turns into like a Salt Lake City situation I'm kind of where someone like... gets arrested while we're on the party van. Don't know who it's going to be. You mean like someone has been committing fraud for the last? Someone years? in the group <laughs> has been stealing identities for the last fifteen years and is going to get caught. No, we're who just, we're is just, it going to we're be? We're waiting in this printer van to go to a wine winery, and they're like. <laughs> Where is Justin? This is so <laughs> weird. Yeah, and then and then Evan's like, uh, "Babe, we're waiting in the van." Oh, okay. Yeah, I just have to. <laughs> yeah, yep. He's, you know what? He's okay. Evan's Can sick, you, and yeah, I need yeah, to get yeah, to yeah. the Evan. Yeah, Evan has yeah, an intestinal. Yeah. He has an intestinal. I have yeah. to go. And then, and then we then are just. Yeah. That's it. I'm looking forward to that. I'm also mm-hmm. looking forward to that moment of picking the rooms. Oh, oh let's all run in. Yeah, we're gonna run. We're yeah. gonna run. We're huh. gonna body check each well, other to get know, to a room. We know now that that Julie and I will get the room that is designated for children. We'll that get the bunk bedroom. The bunk bed, yeah, because which we're fine with. Yes, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So okay, it's good. Like, yeah, yeah. There's good. always the one room in the Airbnb that's like it has a treadmill in it, and then like one twin bed, <laughs> and then there's like an air mattress. And be like, here's your guys' room. Right. Like, okay, like, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I looked through the rooms and they they, they looked all pretty decent. Okay, good. Oh. And it has good reviews. So we'll see. But you never know until you get there. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. But you see me because you're watching this. But have you subscribed? Have you told a friend? Have you liked it? Have you copied the link and texted it to someone you love or you just feel like being a nice person to? Please do that. It keeps us going. So if you like watching Juicy Scoop here on YouTube... Subscribe, like, and share. Todd Chrisley oh, yes. and Julie were found guilty wow. on all counts, Amazing. basically, all counts. Of him being gay. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, they were found guilty of that, too. <laughs> yes. Now, one thing that I found exciting about this is that mm. I realized we could forge documents um, with Julie's credit, and we can try and get <laughs> her a new place, um, yeah. because uh, she desperately needs a new place. And okay. And I didn't realize one could just make up entire documents with a different credit score. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize this was the thing that people did. You can, <laughs> providing you then say, I did not know it was happening. There was this gentleman who was in love with my very heterosexual husband. Mm-hmm. That's he wanted me, Tom. To be, he wanted to be him. That's right. He threw these papers in front of you me. You tell him, said, Julie, Julie, you're so would you hot. Like a nice house to live in L.A. for the summer. Mm-hmm, I and I said, I... I have no education. I'm just a mama and a stepmama, and I am just a sex thing for my heterosexual husband. That's right. So I don't know about papers or taxes. What do I sign? And that is what happened. Mm -hmm. And now I can't believe that the jury and everybody believes that myself and Todd and Nanny, they don't believe that we all been taken by this horrible (laughs) brat. What's his name? Braddock guy who um, Braddock, was just weirdly right. obsessed with my husband and making up lies that they were intimate. Intimate about what? Ew, Julie. <laughs> ew. I would never do that to you. You are a sexual, just a oh, Todd. walking vag. Todd. I love your puss. I love it. Stop it. Lo- you are so hot to me right now. Todd, you are. Mm. I'm my, my God, if you... St- if you st- I'm going to take you... Please stop. I'm going to take at you. my decolletage. <laughs> oh, I love your decolletage. I'm going to take you like a lion and a lioness in a cage. Oh, my God. Like now, I did the other night at Ramrod. What? Anyway. I just can't believe this. We are obviously going to try to appeal. We are going to appeal. We are going, going to going to succeed. We have three shows. Um, three. You know, this is just... I mean... Yes, we, we filed for bankruptcy when we made had $30 million in debt. Who does it when you're <laughs> trying to raise three big, beautiful children? That's right. You know, That's with right. your 
You know, with your man. With your heterosexual man. Yes. <laughs> with your heterosexual man and all of our and love. We, yes, we and had a lot stores. of Range Rovers. What else are mm-hmm. we supposed to drive Nanny in? Okay. She, and, and we're just trying to make entertainment for the world. You know, I mean, Todd and I are in love. And like every love, time we try to get love, frisky, yeah. the cameras were in there. It's crazy. When I would she's tell in the them two to piece come in at matching ten. pajamas. When, <laughs> oh, they, when yeah, he comes in and she's in her like pajama set. And he's like, Kids, can you get out? I'd like to screw your mother. God! It's like, it's so believable. It's, it's so, so believable. What about how he was going to start an entire department, department store? store. Like, when was that? That was in the first, Chrisley's. the first season. He was like, I'm a businessman and an entrepreneur, and I'm going to start a department store, and it's going to be amazing. I mean, okay? like. Because I've been in retail for a long time. I've been in heterosexual <laughs> retail, and I've been in heterosexual retail for many years. With my wife, Julie. Okay. Well, I think it's beautiful that it did happen um, during Pride Month. Yeah. I, and wonderful. So fitting. <laughs> and, um, so fitting. But, you know, uh, they are going to decide at a later date. They're not in custody right now what the uh, amount of time would be. Of course, when you first hear these things, they're like, they're looking up to 30 years. Right. We know they're not going to get up to we'll 30 years, year but they two. might get a couple. They're definitely going to have to go away for a little. Well, Teresa yeah. had to go for she, a year. A year, for a full year. Same frauds kind of scenario. I mean, I well, theirs was excessive. much worse than, much what, worse. than what they did. So, like, I think... Let's do our predictions. Okay. Okay. (laughs) I say he gets three years, Mm -hmm. but gets out in 19 months. Mm. And I believe that she will get 13 months and get out in eight. So, but Teresa did a full year. Yeah. Yeah. And how long did Juicy Joe do? Two years. And he got deported as well. No, he did four years. He did four. Four years? I know. It's so weird because it did not seem it did not seem like he was gone for four years. No, no. That's how he got so he got lost all that weight though. Yeah. Well but Todd Grizzly might get three years and let out at two, but he's not gonna want to (laughs) leave. Yeah. So he's gonna go ahead and stay in there for four. Well it's gonna be because he's gonna be teaching the Bible to Uh, these uh, young men. Yeah, teaching his Bible (laughs) on his uh, dick. (laughs) (laughs) I mean um, I, I guess I like... Do they still do the reruns? I think they do because it wasn't like pedophilia or anything like that. So oh, yeah. I think they'll still do the reruns every, like, marathons on USA of Chrisley Knows Best. They haven't canceled the show and they, supposedly yeah. still has love in a limo. Oh, I don't, but I mean, I assume they've already filmed that if it's been greenlit. So I, I don't know if I, we're going to see that. We cannot get arrested. <laughs> and this guy's got three shows and... And, <laughs> and, and arrested. got arrested. And got <laughs> Or you get arrested. We can't even get arrested. Right. Indicted, got indicted. You're right, you're right. Indicted, I guess you would be officially Sorry, arrested. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're going to get arrested. So TMZ caught them having the last fun brunch oh, um, before yeah. they knew the verdict. Oof. Look at him. They look she, like brother and sister in a weird just way. Just a picture me. of yeah. virility. Yeah. yeah. I come, mean, on, she, come on, Julie, play, pay the check. They look Let's like they're go. on an Atlantis cruise <laughs> right now here. He, this is exactly Do you know how many word. people probably walk up to them? Think they're guilty as fuck, but as a fan, you be Todd, and I'm going to be every juicy scooper that probably is laughing at us right now. But if they ran into them, the way they would ask, "Oh my God, sorry, I'm so so sorry to bother you, Todd. I am just such a huge fan. You're the most beautiful family, oh, and I just want you to know we 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 are praying for you. We, oh, that's um, I mean, thank you so I just much. I'm so sorry. Is, am I weird if I ask for a photo? I just want to ask for a photo. No, we oh can my, take a photo. Oh my God, let me get on this side. It's my slimmer side. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! I Wonderful. I know I know you're innocent. This is so I am horrible. I am innocent I and I'm straight. I know. So I just anyway. I'm hi Julie. I'm sorry. I'm just oh yeah, no problem. Love you, love you, love I'm you, looking love at how you, I, she looks slim love there. You. She does look slim. And um, I, what was it? Yeah, I mean, I can't remember what I was just gonna say about it. Well, yeah. why do you just, think? Yes. You think? Well, I do kind of enjoy their family, even though you know he's pole smoking on the side. <laughs> I mean, I think though. I still think, because I kind of still think that the guy, listen, I think his heart is a beautiful rainbow gay heart. Okay. (laughs) But I think there's a possibility that maybe he hasn't really cheated physically with a man, including this guy. Mm. I think he was guilty of all this stuff that happened, Mm. but... Um, I, may, I don't know. Like the, he's that this guy is the only person in all of his years that has like physically said, "Yeah, 
I got with him for one year, and I have no evidence to us being together. There were no emails or anything mm. where the, he was like he was like, "I want to get with you." So I kind of think he might be one of these Southern guys that is gay, but has like suppressed it and still had a great time, and maybe and always talking about how hot he is for his wife convinced him, and now he might be able to live his true. They do have 70,000 children. I mean, yeah. him alone, he has other kids with another woman. Right. He was married before yep. the two girls, I mean, the two kids, boy and a girl, and then he had and then he had her, and he is, like, funny and delightful. And then other people wrote me, and they said, you know, there's Southern guys that act a little effeminate. It's kind of a Southern thing. And then there's Southern guys that are married, act effeminate, and are getting dick on the side. And, I mean, he's there's a little three more types. than effeminate. There's three types. <laughs> I would say on the range of effeminate, he's, he's all the way almost... Full so, gay, but yeah, but well, not full ninety percent because he can yeah. have sex with a woman. In the staircase, though, he absolutely had was actively pursuing yeah. men and getting with them physically. But he was still, and there was a lot of evidence to it. But he was still with down too. with her. Yeah, what well, I believe for sure that that Todd Chrisley is like, even if he's just filleting other gentlemen. <laughs> what I really wonder, and I'm not sure about, I'm like, he, I think he might be, I think he might be doing it to Julie. Two, oh, yeah, you know, maybe Definitely doing it to her. Oh well, they that's kids. Great. I mean, maybe, maybe he's super I do sexual. Like, I like. I mean, fam. you know, in the staircase, the real son of the staircase, Todd Peterson, the son, he said um, they had a perfect relationship. He and mm-hmm. we're talking about Michael Peterson, who was accused of killing his wife, who was found at the bottom of the staircase. He, what was her name, Kathleen? He said, "My mom and he, and." dad they had an awful relationship they fought all the time him and patty but he's like i will say once he got with kathleen they had the most loving perfect oh, highly sexual he said he was highly jealous. sexual highly in, into each other relationship yeah. yeah anyway that's really juicy that's every thursday on hbo max okay let's move on yeah there we go julia Tax looks fraud. good she has she she's they both they look great well he's had a lot of work done so and so i mean she's i think she weight. is too yeah, yeah they have teeth and um, you know, <sighs> pulled faces. Okay. Um, mm, so a little, upda- a little update on what's going on with Oof. Amber and Julie. Uh, not Amber and Julie. <laughs> sorry. Amber and Johnny. Julie Depp. Um, <laughs> so Amber Heard responds to Johnny Depp's message about moving forward. Women's rights. She believes women, women's rights are moving backwards. Um, the, the two attorneys appeared mm. on the Today Show. Uh, Camille, who is now partner in her law firm. Oh. And the guy. And... They said, no, I mean, this was, you know, about the truth and obviously people want to come forward and all of that. So, of course, they're defending him. They said, we don't believe that she's going to prevail in getting any kind of appeal because we don't think that the jury, you know, there was also um, some reports coming out that a couple jurors, a bailiff said, yeah, a couple jurors had fallen asleep. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, when? Every moment was like so juicy. You have to I know people fell asleep during the DNA stuff of OJ. Yeah. But like, what part did you fall asleep in? Anyway, so they said, and also we don't believe that they, you know, violated their oath of getting on social media when they went home or had weekends off. And then the other report I read was, um, it's possible that they that he won't make her pay the ten point three fifty because yeah. he said it wasn't about money. I think that might work in. Let's just settle this. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. Don't appeal, and we can make it a wash or whatever. Yeah, she doesn't have the money, right? Because no. she never paid the initial donation no. to. She doesn't have ten million. She li- she has a one million dollar house that she lives in in a Joshua Tree. Oh, oh God! Weird. We still don't With know one hundred percent if the kid is Elon Musk's, the four year old. She has a four year old. Yes, I didn't know that. <laughs> she has a four year old that's supposed with Elon Musk. But they did it through in vitro, she, and he wanted, and so allegedly he wanted all the embryos destroyed after he was like broken up with her. But so she might still have a couple more. And I thought it was a surrogate as well. Oh, oh a so surrogate she, carried so all of a sudden this baby just showed up and you're just like you thirst trap clown. Yeah. I mean I'm sorry like I, I don't necessarily wow. th- uh, think in terms of this I think yeah. they were both horrible and I, yeah. I definitely but I'm like when that baby showed up I was like you dumb bitch I can't stand her. <laughs> so anyway. I so didn't we'll, even know that. That yeah. is so gross. So I'm wondering like if you have Elon Musk's baby whether he allowed for this in vitro to go forward or not i mean that is why remember that whole thing god and i think it finally ended 
it, I thought it was a very scary thing that could happen. But Sofia Vergara's longtime partner, and they never got married, they made embryos together. They then got separated, ended the relationship. She got with Magic Mike. What's his name? It's yeah. Like Joe Montagna. Joe, oh, yeah. Yeah. Joe yeah. Majolani. Joe, Joe, <laughs> Joe Montagna. <laughs> And, you know, now she's in her late 40s. Maybe she's even 50 now. But at the time, she was like, yeah, I don't want to have kids with him. He doesn't want to have kids. We're done having. The ex that's, you know, not rolling in the dough is like, oh, no. I want to. There's two viable embryos or something. And I want those two viable embryos to get put into a surrogate and raise those kids and then get her for child support for the rest of their lives. That, is that – he? A man wants to do that? A man wanted to do it, and he got, like... So they they were fighting about it, and they they had legal documents that said if either one of us didn't want to go forward with it or destroy it or we break up, then it's, you know, it can't move on. It went on in court for so long. Will you just look that up? I'm dying to know if it finally ended. I really, really felt for her, but I was like, you know, this is why you don't go... Won't it be fun to have a baby with someone that you aren't married to or you really don't know want to be your life partner. It's one thing if you get knocked up. But if you're going forward to create a child, spend all this money in the creation of the child. They ruled in her favor. Finally, they ruled Thank in her God. favor. But it went on would, for years. That would burn the world down. One, that's like the Sherry Shepard thing. But then yes. I was kind of on the side of poor Sherry Shepard because... Oh, Sherry Shepard's story. Let me just fill people in on okay. Sherry Shepard. What's that? Sherry, no Sh- Mary, Sherry <laughs> Shepard has had a child... With one Jeffrey. with one guy, yeah, Jeffrey, okay. and mm-hmm. he cheated on her. She got rid of that husband, okay? okay? And uh-huh. she had that child, who I believe is special needs, but does well. You know, he's, mm-hmm. she, she's like, she's very He's like high-functioning, and he's, yeah. he's, and done, he's doing great, Jeffrey. He's so old, older totally guy. committed to that child. She gets on The View, and she meets this other guy. Niecy Nash has a barbecue, and she meets this other guy <laughs> there. And she is, like, madly in love with him. And they get married, and he doesn't have any kids, and he's like, let's have a kid. And she's like, all right, but I'm a little bit older and whatever. So they make embryos, and now I'm trying to think of what happened first. But somehow he went forward with the embryo being implanted in a woman. And at that point, she had was they were like, he was already cheating on her. She didn't want to be with him anymore. And he's like, well, too fucking bad. You know, we're going to divorce and you're going to pay for this child. Uh And in the end, she lost and she does not have a relationship with this child. It's not biologically hers because it wasn't her egg. What's he need that for? Because she does because she makes money and he doesn't. So then so then she has to pay for that child. Whose egg was it? Like they got a donor egg. Oh, okay. And but then is, while, person? but but because while they were married and stuff, he prevailed. They were like, and I think it was kind of like if you switched it to a man and woman. Okay, if a man and woman were married and the guy was the powerful money guy, and the woman was like, I really want to have a baby. He, she's like, Sure, go for it. And then they went that far, and a baby was conceived, and it, I think maybe already in a surrogate. And then he was like, I don't want it. Everybody would be like, too bad, dude. Your wife doesn't matter. So I think the rules apply yeah. to her. And so because they were married and because they entered this fertility situation together, yeah. Then and then she chose not to try to have a relationship with ch- this child because – she hated him so much. It wasn't biologically hers. Yeah. She didn't carry the child. And so she was like, I already have to pay. I'm just assuming this is her attitude. I already have to pay. I already have to work so hard to pay for this child and for my son. Like, I don't even want to complicate my life in trying to be a mother yeah. figure. It doesn't make sense. We live on two different coasts. Like, just forget I it. did not know that was the story. I had so it's a good compl- thing she has her own I, talk show. I don't yeah. even understand what she... I had it completely. And I wonder if he'll come after her now it? for more money now that she has her own talk show. But why yeah. couldn't he just get someone else pregnant? What did he need her shit for? Just for the money? Yes. And a court ruled that that's okay. Yes, I guess so, because they were married and they conceived these... Um, so he's a living so, I mean, there's a lot shit. of stuff when you do this fertility stuff together, even when you're married, yep. where you but, agree to, we we agree that we will destroy the babies or we agree that we'll keep the embryos in the freezer till 
till we die. <laughs> yeah. Or I agree that if I die, my wife can have them and do with that whatever she wants with them. Or, you know, like there's a lot of things that you have to decide. I mean, that's the thing you're playing. I mean, you're playing God essentially yeah. and I'm all for it. But like there's a lot of things that go with it that wouldn't have happened 40 years ago when you're just – Rolling in the hay and getting knocked up. Yeah, there's a ton that goes along with it. And yeah. I've been thinking for all these years that she wanted to use those embryos and that he wouldn't let her. And that he, so Wait, I've who? Been, Wait, I'm who are we talking about now? Sherry Shepard. Okay. I've literally for the last 15 years since Jeffrey was little thought that. Her for, oh, her older son. Yeah. Yeah, that, that the, her new, the, the embryos that they made were there. She could no longer, um, she couldn't donate any eggs or right. she was already too old. She wanted to use those and that he wouldn't let her. And so I was always under the impression that he kept those those eggs from her, which also infuriated me. There is so much that goes along with it. However it shakes down, it's like – and now Paris, we think, might have, you know – Paris Hilton? Yeah, Paris. What did and, she do? She stole eggs too? We No, Paris and Connor. Carter. Carter. <laughs> They made, we think, they've made embryos, and we, you know, Bad. we love Paris, and we yeah. don't like Carter, and now we're horrified that Carter's going to now insist that, that he, is what he's he, gonna he now has Paris's children, and we don't want that. No. We want Paris's thing implanted into Julie. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. <laughs> so you're not a fan of Shut Paris's up, Paris. husband no. because you watched the show and you didn't like his uh, way he acted on the show? Yeah. Paris in love? You don't think they're in love? So oh. We hope not. He w- he insisted she take his last name, and then when He's she a wouldn't, monster. his last name's Reem, and she was like, "Well, it kind of goes against my <laughs> brand." And like I, and he got he shamed her, and I mean, we love her, so we don't want to. You talk don't think to- they're a little bit like in on it and faking? Because that's a pretty good storyline that uh, that your name <coughs> is the Hilton, but are you going to be yeah. traditional and take your husband's it's name? It's not like- just that. Have you? Did you watch the show? No, I've only seen like a little bit of clips. But I, I know would, people like Julie, it. Julie, please okay. don't be too intense. We don't want Paris to get mad at us. We okay. love Paris. We do love. We Paris. really don't like him for her. I would suggest watching the whole show <laughs> and just really absorbing all okay. of the okay, Heather, you're good. You have good instincts with that. If you watch a show, even with the fake storylines of it all. one fake storyline, though. He was just Could the rest of, of it be? It was just his vibe was just... Well, if someone like Paris, I would have highly suggested she have a baby on her own, let the love come after. Love goes away. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, a- time's a ticking. According and to you the have show, the money. Yeah. They met in the they met and fell. Not they met a long time ago, but they really got, came together in the pandemic when she was stuck at home. And we know Paris doesn't like to be alone. Yeah, and they were there at her house, isolated during that time. That was when they made these embryos that exist that are already fertilized. Her eggs. Yeah. And hit. Now, this might not be true, but they've supposedly got these embryos and he's got those now and they're there and they exist forever. And now. Do you think he's called Sherry Shepard's ex? I think <laughs> or, he's. I think or he's Sophia already, Vergara's ex. Yeah, I they're going to make a reality I show. I think Sherry or Shepard's Or Elon ex. Musk. Yeah, I think they're all part of his hedge fund called yeah. Let's Get Embryos with Famous Women. Yeah, let's manipulate women and make them think that we're cool, but we're not and we're actual animals. <laughs> and now we have their embryos. <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, and now we control them and that's well, all we really <laughs> want to do is control we them. We will stay tuned for that. Also, John. Johnny Depp uh, joined TikTok. He's only what? provided one <laughs> TikTok, and he, as of this morning, he's at 5.3 million followers, and it's just him um, playing guitar and uh, waving to fran- fans outside of a courthouse sure. and being like, thank you very much, thank you for all the support. <laughs> but so. you know what? Dior went ahead and brought back that Sauvage. Sauvage. They went, they went outside. They <laughs> Dragged in the you know recycling bin that they had at their curb. Yeah. Then they sent someone out to dig through it, and they pulled out the old commercial of Johnny Depp prior to his present look, Luke, yes. Luke <laughs> doing the Dior Sauvage mm-hmm. cologne. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, they really, really dusted that old chestnut off yeah. and put it right back on the air. Yeah, mm-hmm. because <laughs> part of the testimony was when Amber Heard said, "Really, I thought Dior." Had style. Why would they want an old fat man being there? <laughs> They're like, horrible, mean. So um, horrible, mean. A, uh, Juicy Scooper reminded me of a Vanity Fair article from 2017 that was all about how he'd lost all of his money. Mm. Yeah, oh, I love you that know, one. Because I'm disturbed that he took out people to an Indian restaurant for 60 grand the other day. Oh, I love the one where he has all and, the bags of trash around his home. Uh, so they said, this is back in 2017. Uh, he had 14 residency, re- residences, including a chateau in France, four island chain in the Bahamas. There were also a 156-foot cash-guzzling yacht and 12 <laughs> Los guzzling. Angeles storage facilities full of memorabilia, including seven collectible guitars, plus major artwork. 
40 full-time employees that cost up 300,000 a month. They claimed and there were only 50, but there were only 15 employees. Some of the consultants were round the clock security for him, his two children, various family members cost 150,000 a month. Mm. In addition to the 10 million supporting friends and family, he spent 30,000 a month on wine, flown to him around the world. And it was saying um, he lost And then it all, a $5 right? million dollar for, uh, memorial for some you know guy that he loved that was a musician or something. Anyway, wow. so let's hope. But then now he that lost the, all of that. He lost it all now that this has happened and his star is going to rise again. You know, let's hope he doesn't do that again. Now, speaking, now I find this very interesting. You know the Miravel Rosé. They sell at Costco. Of it's, course. It's up there with, what's the other rosé that everyone Whispering loves? Angel. Whispering Angel and Miravel yeah, are probably the two best. That's the top rosés, uh, for sure. Rosés, for sure. I did not realize that was Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's wine. You did it? No, I didn't. Oh, that's the whole clout chase of it all. You got to get the mirror wall. Oh. Like, even back in the day, like, it's it's gotten less I like that it's a cool, different shape bottle, but then that also makes it hard to, like, pack and put in those. Yeah. You know how, like, Ralph's has the, <laughs> yeah, the, the little bag things. of six? Yeah. You know, like, that yeah. doesn't fit. No. Yeah, and it, it doesn't. I personally, and I've had it a ton of times, I, one of my best friends, like, loves rosé only. I like Whispering Angel better, but... I would always get that one because, of course. Do you imagine if you're at a dinner with Brad Pitt and you were that person? Like, you know how people just say, like, like Peter was getting mad because we were at the Catalina Wine Festival. As I was getting a little boozed, you know, a couple of people came up to me and recognized me and they're really nice. But, like, I, I was getting a little bitchy when people were just like, Hi, my husband has no idea who you are. My friends don't know why I'm walking up to you. And I'm like... All right. <laughs> and Peter's like, just say thank you. I'm like, no. Like, like, I'm like, but that's like, imagine you're at a dinner party with like Brad Pitt and you're like, I just want to say I'm a huge Rosé fan. I do enjoy Whispering Angel more than yours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if it, if Whispering Angel is out, I totally get yours. That's like the, I, I guarantee yeah. some idiot yeah. has fucking said that to him. I'm sure. Anyway, he and Angelina, as you, as you know, have not had a wonderful breakup. And part of, according to him, part of their deal was they built this, the winery, like they had the chateau, they got married there. And it was something in their paperwork that said, if you wanted to sell your half, like you couldn't do it without consulting the other person or giving them the option to buy. Like something like that. Of refusal or and she, according to this lawsuit, went around him and sold him to some, sold half of it to some weird Russian that now <laughs> is going to like, according to Brad Pitt, like screw up the whole thing. And he felt she did it out of spite. So now he is suing her and demanding a jury trial. And I find it very interesting that this uh... came right after the Johnny Depp thing, because it's like, I think a lot of men now that have had horrible contentious breakups are like, Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> now some people might listen to me. Now some people might want to hear my side. Jury trial now. So that's happening. Also, on a much lower scale of celebrity. Did you ever watch Million Dollar Listing New York? Of course. There was this guy named Louise, who I absolutely thought was gay. He was Spanish. Anyway. Oh, no, exactly. He oh, was yeah. straight. He was and he had, or something. He had a girlfriend or a wife. They had a baby. Throughout the last couple of years, he hasn't been on the show, but there's been little glimpses of pretty bad stuff. Uh, 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 him, uh, her accusing him of domestic abuse and mm. child custody battles and whatever. Right after he, Johnny won, he sure came right. out and was like, I am ready to share my truth. This is not. And so I'm like, and I'm, hey, get your truth out. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but I just find it interesting that. Yeah. Now it's like, bring on the jury trial. Yep. I'm all for it. It's yeah. going to be hashtag men too. It's going to start to get a little out of control. I'm quite sure. <laughs> well, like, we're victims too. Okay. I was um, shocked and kind of pleased to know that it, Brad Pitt has some, like, you know, in, deep interest in the making of Rosé. And that was like his his love was this, like, Rosé company yeah. and it wasn't hers. But I think the difference with these two on any level, even though, Julie and I are probably the only two that are on fucking Team Angelina, but yeah. whatever. Um, Amber Heard came in, and regardless of what went on between them, she tried to topple like like a, a huge Hollywood icon entity. Like, don't come in and mess with Johnny Depp. I don't care if he has bags of trash and you're both getting drunk and slicing each other's fingers off and pooing in the bed. You both did that. 
you, it was it was her whole thing of like now she's abused and when you take these two and you get a jury trial Brad now you got Angela. two yeah. huge icons of of Hollywood you don't just have one and then you know some loser that came in and was like f- fake gay or whatever she was well I was so just now th- these two I was just thinking kind of interesting because Brad Pitt and Jen Anderson when they were married created this. And this is my understanding of it, so I don't have all the facts. You guys, I'm remembering things. Just <laughs> fucking come after me. They had Plan B production. Oh, that's where right. they would like find someone, they'd go to a dinner party and someone would be like, you know, I read the most interesting article, the most interesting book. And they'd be like, hey, Joe, buy that. Maybe Option it'll it. be a movie one day, okay? They get divorced. Jen is like, you know what, Brad? I am fine. Take the stupid plan B. I don't give a shit. And he's like, all right. And then plan B is huge. Oscars and this and that. So I think when this happened, she was like, you know, no, I'm going to have full stake. And because she's like, I don't really care about this fucking wine. It's not movies. It's not something I'm super yeah. into. And it's so it's not helping children. Children. Yeah, it's like, not the Sudan. Apartheid. It's not, yeah. right. it's not saving. Yeah. Meanwhile, though, yeah. Shiloh. The, their oh. uh, daughter oh. together, who's so stunning. And as you know, mm. when she was young, people um, was like, oh, Shiloh's transgender, and she dresses like a boy all the time. And it was like, no, I think she's just... I, and I said, I go, that girl's going to wake up one day just and go, every day I wake up, my body gets better and better, my lips get fuller, <laughs> my tits get bigger. She was, she's maybe so I should, Maybe I try on some clothes. Anyway, she's been wearing a dress, and she's dancing now. The dancing is unbelievable. She's so cute. I felt they, vindicated I, from yeah. being attracted to her at a very young age. <laughs> I was like, there she is. I mean, the dancing is so, so, so good. I mean, and she looks so much like both of them. It's ridiculous. She's, like, ridiculous. she's probably the, the most stunning kid ever born, in yeah. my opinion. Like, yeah. I think so she's always She just might be full Les. Yeah. You know what I mean? She just might be full Les. Or, clap, or, clap, clap. Or yeah. was straight and... Maybe and whatever didn't it is, want to wear maybe. tights. She was experimenting maybe. Maybe. with with Who her knows? look, and but, we were here um, for it. <laughs> we'll be watching this for sure. Okay, uh, did you see this? <laughs> Wait, is that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <Weird>. Luann. <laughs> Wait, is that Johnny Depp? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could I mean, um, Luann de Lesseps and Sonia are. Uh, exclusive. Oh my God. I mean, I think this is. I think is a hundred percent legit. Page six says it's exclusive. They are going to do a little spinoff. And they describe it much like Simple Life, oh. like your best friend Paris Hilton. <laughs> yeah, where they go off and spend like a month. Like it's going to be a short filming period in June or July in a small town, and you know antics happen. They try to. I don't know what they're going they to do. To they couldn't leave them there longer than 12 business days or they will <laughs> burn the probably the entire town down. Like they, They're they doing that that girls trip yes. production you know, schedule where it's like, right. let's get them in, get them drunk, and get them out before yeah. we get sued. Yeah. Well, she's sober, supposedly. Uh-huh. Well, well, I think uh-huh. she's dabbling. And, and then some... So I was reading the comments. I'm like, do you think this will work? And the Juicy Scoopers were saying, yes, I'm excited. Anything they're in, it, it'll be fun. Um, I think obviously it'll be very set up much like the Chrisleys or even the simple, simple life, simple life where it's like, we have some funny ideas for you to try different things. But I mean, Luann is not, Luann was one of seven kids. She was like a nurse. She knows how to cook. Like, I don't, I don't know that she can, she would, I don't think fumbling will be her thing. I think she's pretty like capable. Yeah. Even though she's led a charmed life now. And Sonia, Sonia was like selling scrunchies yeah, she was and a was hostess. A, she yeah. was a coach head girl. <laughs> I'm the hostess with the most. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So she was not like she was born like, no. you know. Yeah, but they're going to get drunk and they're going to be sluts and they're going to go have sex in the bushes by the cornfield. I think they're going <laughs> to you know be going I mean? after cowboys or something. Of course. Yeah. Anyway, well, so I will forget, watch it. She'll forget her underwear. Yes. With a short at outfit. The bar. Her tooth will come out. Uh, like we need, yes. I'm here for it 1,000, but million. only yeah. if Luann just... At least just says, okay, I'll have wine or champagne. She has to drink. She has and to. And just a little. And then. Well, my darling, I have my non alcoholic <laughs> rose. That's what I'll be having. Oh, okay. With a little uh, yeah. vodka, vodka into it. it. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Use it as a mixer. So um, there you go. That's going to be very exciting. exciting. I'm excited. I mean, very Meanwhile, excited. Ramona, she oh. posted this yesterday. I guess she officially passed her real estate exam. And she's like, hello, it's beautiful in the Hamptons. Come join me and look at some real estate. You can either rent or buy, either or. <laughs> Wow. wow. So there you go. This is her audition for Million Dollar Listing, uh-huh. The Hamptons. Uh-huh. You know, I think it's a great idea that she got her license. Uh, she is the same smart. reason I said, like, 
you know, I told other housewives that are no longer housewives. I, I mean, I suggested it to Kelly Dodd like a year ago. I was like, why don't you get your real estate license? You know there's going to be, and I literally said this a year ago, you know there's going to be um, a bunch of real estate shows happening in the OC. You could just be on that. Now there is Selling Sunset Oppenheimer yeah. Group. And um, and so anyway, I think she is getting her license. I mean, that there, yeah. we, what we should do is yeah. we should start the Oppenheimer Group, but instead it's called Ex-Housewives. And then we have all of them under us. Because I used to say real estate, with all due to your parents, this doesn't include them, is where strippers go to die. Um, and now I think it might be where reality TV, ex-reality oh. TV stars go to die. Because well, that, so that and podcasting. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, I, you know, good for her. But then, yes, good for her. then yesterday, something not great oh, happened. Oh, no. So she got, got some free eyebrows and wanted to give a shout out to the eyebrow lady. And... Listen, I Are those I have on? never done microblading. microblading, which everybody does because thick eyebrows are in. And the way I understand it, it's like a temporary tattoo, and they they fill them all in, and you look pretty fucking scary for about what a week? A few weeks. Oh, a few weeks, and they kind of like tone down and they, come the they, right they, color. They fade. I just pencil mine in have and to. call it a fucking day, but. Listen, this, my mom. This my was mom, not great. And, my, but she said, she was, look, I got my eyebrows done. I mean, do you, I, I die how gorgeous they are. So you have to go to my girl, whatever her name was. And I'm sure the girl is great, but I just don't think you show off your eyebrows until, like, you know, you got to let them later. You got to let them settle in, like any yeah. work. My mom <laughs> sent me a picture in the car. She'd walked through the rain. She yeah. has no eyebrows. Pam. She said she took a selfie and said my eyebrows came off in the rain. So I go, Mom, and this is like a, like a couple years ago. I'm like, go and do that thing where I didn't even know what it was called. I'm like looking for links where they where yeah. they light. It's not a permanent oh, tattoo. Yeah, and I thought because it wasn't a tattoo permanent that it could be much lighter. Yeah, and also you've got to get like a. Um, like an ash, whatever yeah. color you get has to have an ash on top, even if it's that dark. She's blonde. When I saw my mom, I was like, <laughs> wow, I really led this woman astray. I felt so bad. I was like, mom, oh, just, no, those are too dark. Whatever I see it, it's just like, <laughs> what happened to baby Jade? Whatever happened to yes. baby Jade? Like, yes. And you're going to put the lipstick on in the mirror yeah. and I'm worth it. I'm sending yeah. a letter <laughs> to daddy. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, yeah. But it will oh, fade yeah. off. And like, I recommend she put some powder immediately over those. She's going to be okay, you guys. She's yeah. showing property. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> she is showing whoa. property in the Hamptons. Blah. And you can look at me. You can look for condos, beautiful homes, rentals, short term rentals, or oh long, God. dark eyebrows. <laughs> you this can picture, do it. This picture looks like somebody's about to open that window and jump out of it. <laughs> Like, she is literally going to jump out the window. Like, oh, my anyway, eyebrows it's are wow like... Broke, <laughs> wow broke Karen. Oh, wow broke Karen. Okay, you guys, this is a little confusing. This is the Robin China saga. Okay, let me just explain it, okay? Trial right now in the revenge porn case in which China is suing Rob for this moment where they were being horrible to each other, fighting... And he took photos that she sent to him of her vagina in a skirt <laughs> um, and put it out on Instagram or the internet. And it Twitter. was up there for a while. She had just gotten eyebrows on it. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, look at these eyebrows. <laughs> then she, Girl. No, what if the case was like, you posted my eyebrows before they settled down. Yeah. Oh, my God. And no, it that, ruined my life. No, that's revenge porn. No, yeah. I'm sure the woman that Ramona <laughs> that did the eyebrows yeah. is like, um, excuse me, those weren't ready to be advertised yet. I hear that the next thing in that <laughs> vagina stuff is that they're going to put eyebrows on the side. Sides of the lips. You heard well, it here first. Okay, well, you heard I, it here I, first. I started to notice there was a fashion trend of highlighting a fupa. And there are. There's all these bathing suits that have, like, just the fupa part naked or a lingerie or whatever. So, what? The mic. What do you mean, the mic? You lean back. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, so. Uh, um, <laughs> Thanks, Peter. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. Being very mean to me. Um, No, but like, yeah, you could do do a little face on your eyebrow. Anything's uh, anything's happening. Um, Oh, I I think I didn't. I think we forgot to put the photo in of the pregnant woman. Well, I sent you that photo. There was some woman at con that had like a formal gown on and her stomach was exposed, which looked kind of beautiful and okay. But then she turned around and she was featuring 
the butt cleavage in formal wear. Mm-hmm. It was more than cleavage. It was. I like, guess it's technically cleavage. It's, it's, cr- it's full cleavage. Crack. Yeah, it's yeah. butt crack cleavage. Um, but anyway, this particular case, let me just get back to this. As you know, she lost when she sued the Kardashians. So according to TMZ, Rob's lawyers are alleging that China agreed to dismiss this lawsuit if Rob helped China get dropped from a separate lawsuit filed by a former boyfriend, Justin C. Jones, a.k.a. Pilot Jones. So this Pilot Jones guy claimed that they, the two of them, Rob and China, when they were together, exposed him as being gay, said he cheated, I guess, with a man. And somehow Rob's like, if I can get you out of this, then don't sue me for the revenge porn that happened to us later. And she said, fine. I don't know how he got him out. I don't know if he called up and said, hey, I can get you some skims and some exactly. Kylie cosmetics. Can we call it a day? Do you want a giant salad? I don't know what he said. Yeah. But, um, and, that, and that was all done. And now she, their attorneys are saying no, maybe because Johnny Depp, maybe she wants another uh, trial. Uh, no, we, we do want to go forward with me suing you, Rob. And that's going to happen uh, supposedly, unless he can get it dropped, June 13th, full trial. Whoa. Yes. And they uh, they're, guys, they're, full trials. Has he oh. changed at all, Rob, <clears throat> during these trials? Is he, or is he the same as when the Kardashians was on in terms of like his appearance? Vibe. Yeah, his appearance I mean, is his I think clear his appearance pill is, I think issue. His appearance is the same. You know, he did not attend Courtney's wedding. I think his mm-hmm. job is raising his daughter, Dream. From what I read, there was something that went back and forth between Tyga and Rob and her. And apparently what I read at that time was Tyga has the boy King Cairo like five days a week. And Rob has Dream, I think, up to six days a week. I think she only has the kids like on Sunday and Monday. And I think that might be because I don't think he pays um, any kind of child support to her. There's no spousal support. But he doesn't. I don't think he has to pay child support because a he has the kids so much, so he pays for the school and stuff, the expensive school. But I think he doesn't really have an income. He yeah, doesn't Chris have the Jenner sock. Pays for the school. I'm quite yeah, sure he doesn't have a sock, sock line, and he doesn't. He's not on the show. So if you don't, if you're not making money, and he lives in in Chris's old house, there's no. You're supposed to get twenty five for each child. You're entitled to, like, if you're just a regular person, you're a dude that makes. Whatever, just make it simple. You make ten thousand dollars a month as a government worker, okay? Like a, then twenty five hundred of that would automatically go to one kid. If so twenty five percent of your monthly, right? Okay. And if you had two kids, automatically ta- before taxes. So that's why some guys are like, "Oh my god, if I have two kids and I get divorced, and now I get only half my income, like how am I supposed to like survive?" But whatever. Obviously, he doesn't have a normal paycheck like that. But I, but I think because he doesn't really have a business, so I think she's probably like, all right, well, then watch them. I mean, yeah, I don't know exactly. what their arrangement is, but all I want to say is if there was the worst case scenario that your son could get with, <laughs> with a baby mama, I mean, even – I know they feared when they got together. I know there was fear. But they're positive people. They try to make lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> they really I don't do. think they could have ever imagined that this baby mama could have caused so much havoc six years later still in their life. Like, she has got to take the prize as the worst baby mama situation ever. Although she does have, like, an eyelash business that I think is, if, like, a functioning business. So she's probably, too, like, I wonder if she has to pay him. I think that she would, if she, if he wanted to do that, maybe she would. But I think he's smart enough not to do that. But no, between that and all her OnlyFans, she makes money, right? Which right. is probably like, money that could is be not why, her issue. That could be why he's like, I'm going to keep custody, and you're going to pay me because right. yeah. I don't want to work. Clearly, I, I mean, th- I think I he think, takes the prize as the worst father. <laughs> I think he no, I think he's a good father. I think he's just like, let's just fucking end this. I'll pay for everything with the daughter. Just like, just please leave my family alone. Just like, see your daughter one day a week. Let me raise her with all all her cousins. And just like. Out of all the Kardashian Jenners. Yeah. You know, he's the most, probably because he's the only, you know, guy. And that's not easy. And I'm sure there's empathy to be found somewhere. But I mean, he is the laziest. And that's coming from me. I'm extremely lazy. (laughs) And if I had that family, I wouldn't want to work either. And I would probably be shut down. But it's like, he doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. He doesn't change. 
Yeah. Like you want to see, I want to see this swan song from him where it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes and we've just been waiting for him to emerge and be like, I have energy now, guys. You know? I think as a mother, I think every child is different and you love them all the same. Yeah. And I think in the case of him, she just wants him to be happy and have a purpose and his purpose is being a dad right now. And if he does something later on, fine. But no, it's just it's just like any trust fund kid or something. When there's yeah. not a motivation, he's never he's never yeah. gonna lose the roof over his head. Yeah. He's not you know, he's not striving to be famous. And maybe in his emotional issues there is some guilt of like, wow, we did this whole thing and you were down for it when you were whatever, eighteen. And it obviously took you down a path with Lamar and everything that wasn't great. Right. So like I just you know, I think as her, she's just like, I just want to, you know, that yeah. who cares? Like, and I don't think the girls care. And now when you're so rich, you're like, you know, maybe not everybody's going to be as successful, but like, let's just have well, them even just if he be was happy just a dad. and healthy. I, that I isn't, get, why are you being such a bitch? He is a dad. I no, just told no, you. No, I'm saying even as a dad, I want him to be more of a inspiring, just, just. There's definitely something that is slightly I guess it's depression. Yeah. It would be no, something that I mean, yeah. he doesn't want to go to his sister. Like he's removing it. Not, he doesn't just remove himself from society. He re- removes himself from everything from except family. for being, let's say the dad to dream. And that is not healthy. Well, so we don't, but we, we don't need to don't... say he's a horrible person, but right. he's not no. a healthy person. But yeah. uh, right. But also just because we don't see him on the show or walk around, I'm sure there's plenty of nights when he's there and the kids are all playing and he's being an uncle to everybody, and the cameras aren't there, and like okay, he's talking. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. God, <laughs> Heather, I'm sorry that you're good family friends with the Kardashians, I'm, but we need to be able to give our fucking hot take. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just, I just feel. I just I'm taking it from like the mom's point of view, and like you know, yeah, we feel it's, bad it's for hard. Chris. Well, Chris, we Chris be, is our favorite. There's no way that she, some yeah, kids that, are easier than others. It's yeah. Like, you know, she must. It's like, that, her heart must hurt. Because she must, obviously, we love him. She loves him. Yeah. But he isn't healthy. He's yeah. not a functioning member of society. So, and, and I would think, the, you know, more that, of a vibe of like even Lamar, who, I mean, poor Lamar. And like Lamar's been, and Lamar enabled like a ton of this stuff with Rob and is the cause of a lot of it. But even yeah, I mean, you see sense is, a thing from Lamar where Lamar's like constantly sort of trying to dig try, himself out of this right. like thing he's in. I don't know. It's just it's got, uh, as as a as a. All right, you know what, you guys, yeah. we can agree to disagree. Okay. I mean, this is juicy <laughs> scoop, and it is okay to talk about. It, I think. Meanwhile, um, what's her name? Cheney Jones has broken up with Kanye West. She does have a small <laughs> oh God, ye like tattoo, him. not hard to change. Yeah, um, she can change that ye to brand new, just like Lala did. <laughs> Like you did brand, yeah, to brand new, but no. yeah, yeah. You can, you can do anything with yeah. Change something you small could do like that. She doesn't of have my the life. good news is she doesn't have to wear leather jackets. It's heating up this summer, <laughs> or big bomber jackets. She doesn't have to wear giant rain uh, fishing boots in August. <laughs> it, she's free. She's free, and he's single. Meanwhile, at the Woodland Hills in Walmart, I posted this that I would hit the Woodland Hills uh, in Target the same day that Pete. Went to Walmart in Woodland Hills with Little Saint. Oh, and uh, I mean, isn't it amazing that the paparazzi was hanging at the Walmart at Fallbrook and Victory? Wow! Because I know they always they just hang out to there. Be there. They just happen to be there. That's like crazy. And then caught him checking out and bagging his own bags wow. while holding Little Saint's hand. Like, oh. I mean, I've been to that Walmart. I've been to that Target, and I'm just like, ah, not seeing the paparazzi no. there. And there, I'm like, I take my boys there all the time. Why aren't they like? Heather McDonald's at Target with her children? like, And they are making sure they feature the best thing at any Walmart, and that's that giant thing of cheese balls, bitch. I, li- I can't go near a Walmart. I will go to get that's candles, true. and I will innocently go like, oh, great, there's the tub of cheese balls, and I have yep. to buy it. It's the one with the purple top. Yep. And, he's and it all it. it goes with their show. I'm not watching every episode of the show, but I know part one of the episodes was like, let's do regular things. Let's go put gas in the car. So it's like, let's go do regular uh, things. Like, oh, they're just really trying to keep these kids grounded and go to Walmart, grounded. like in Woodland Hills with the peasants, you know. Um, <laughs> he was at Cheesecake Factory the other day. What's next? Let's just guess. 
what could be? They're going to be? Jiffy Lube. They're going. I was to do just that. kidding. I was just like, <laughs> okay. like, yeah. They're going to what are normal? Maybe things one of those oh, car washes about, where you do it yeah, yourself. Self like, wash. It. So a fun. Self wash. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Um, what about going to like McDonald's or something like fast food? Um, if they have a deal with McDonald's, I definitely oh, think the right. housewives have a deal with Jack in a Box. Oh, As they're they, always they, going they the kept the mentioning crack. Jack in the Box <laughs> in the shows. Where's the nearest Jack in the Box? Where's that? And I think that they definitely have a deal with Coca Cola because um, there's a lot of Coke in all of their mm. stuff. So laundromat. Um, I think that's, that's a little it. too much. Oh. I think that's a little. I think that's pushing it. Dry cleaning. Well, you could take your dry cleaning. I don't <laughs> think that's as fun for the kid to do. Oh, Maybe oh, mini golf. Kid. Yes. But Castle not, Park, Sherman Oaks. Yeah, you best. guys, paparazzi. <laughs> Castle Park, Sherman Oaks. Definitely, he'll be taking Saint. Yeah, Saint and, and a song. I find there. it interesting that it's that it's Saint was the the, the chosen, chosen yeah, child. Yeah, he, that's he's closest with Saint of all the because like I, I mean, well, I love now this Chicago. is going to be a big sit down meeting. You know, you can't just pick one. That's not a good stepdad. You got to have either a couple of them or a special day with each. My mm. friend was a uh, one of eight. And her mom would always be like, you know, each kid would get a special day every couple months, just the two of them. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. But, yeah. If we had taken North to the Walmart, <laughs> I nice. think I think Ye would have hit the roof. Like, he's oh, pretty yeah. possessive over North. Yeah. You yeah. know? I think Saint was the safer choice there. North Maybe are probably like, bitch, I'm not going yeah. to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, uh, you know what? Uh, unless JoJo C was going to be there. I know. Like, he'll take North to get her nails done at just like a random strip mall, yeah. like that's, nail place. That's good. Okay. Mm. You heard me, Pete. That's <laughs> another suggestion. There's um, there's one actually, there's one in Woodland Hills, VIP nails. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, Shout out VIP Chris nails. Chris Jenner invested in the giant salads. Oh, my God. Healthy God. nut. She is. Health nut. Mm. Mm-hmm. The it's woman amazing. is, uh, she is, is literally, she is. I mean, I don't know why anyone talks Bezos. about Elon Musk. Like it is. Chris <laughs> She's doing Jenner. a master class too. She should. Yeah, she, she should. should. She is a master class. So Heather, you know, yeah. you know, we've been talking to you about, we want the salads in the tubs forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not health nut. That's is this is that's her own thing, Health Nut. No, place, Health Nut's been around forever. So, so that's now the place in Woodland Hills. So now I guess she's investing. So maybe new Health Nuts will open up. Okay, so that's yeah. the place you told us is where she's getting them. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, Unbelievable. Um, amazing. So anyway, Kim wore this pink outfit with the you know where the the what is, Balenciaga spandex pants that include the shoes. Mm-hmm. and go all the way up, and they showed a little bag, <laughs> oh, I see. and and there was like ten photos, and it was and she wrote. Foot picks by North, but this one was taken from the ceiling. So did North climb up like yeah, Spider Man? She, she's on a crane. And take she's on a crane <laughs> taking <laughs> the photo. She dragged in a super tall ladder, uh, climbed up to the anyway, top. Anyway, Kim has gotten very thin, mm-hmm. very thin. The ass has gone down. I noticed a little pelvic bone. I don't know if that's from the salads or losing the weight to get in Marilyn Monroe's thing. They're saying that she got the butt implant. Uh, no, she didn't have an implant. She has the fat re- sucked out. Yeah, that they, they, she got it dissolved. And Chloe as well. I think they're changing their look. It's all beco- becoming like thin. And I'm like, when did she start looking like Christine Quinn? I'm like, literally, this is Christine <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> looks just like her. And then I looked up Christine Quinn and I'm like, here, Christine Quinn has the exact same outfit on from um, Selling Sunset and she's super skinny. She has the, the same purse but in silver and one long bodysuit with the socks. Does that? You think that Balenciaga cat suit comes with that bag? No, it doesn't come with it. You well, buy but it. They have but the, the same brand. But so they're doing the exact same look. It has to I'm, be. Christine did it first. I'm just saying. Okay. It's unbelievable that they're going to have the same bag, too. That must be a Balenciaga. Maybe gifted it to them or no, something? They, you, well, they may have gifted it, sure. But I'm <sighs> saying, but she buys all this stuff. And, but she did it first, Christine. She's really skinny. Then Kylie uh, posted this thing that went crazy. It was a bikini top and nude with, um, with nipples fake nipple. draw, drawn on it. And Brandon, Brandon Jenner was like, woohoo. And then everyone was like, you're gross. That's your half sister. I'm like, he probably forgot that she was his half sister. <laughs> yeah, honestly, at this he point, he's like, I thought like I was years. just um, <laughs> commenting on someone I follow that's yeah. like a huge star. Oh, that's right. At one time, we shared a dad. Like, wow. what? Right. Um, <laughs> I thought I didn't know if this was a real Kylie sw- suit or if she just took a gold suit and then she's pushing these new like brush gel um, blush gels and if she just rubbed those on her nip. Now on that side. is a good call. That's what I think she did. That's such- I do not think this is a real suit that she's. If selling. it is real, she better change it to your story because that is some unbelievable marketing right there. 
take, wow. take the take You're the, welcome. the finger blush and, and make put it yourself- and put a nip on your my gold bikini top. Um, Nick Cannon is expecting his ninth baby. <sighs> I thought he was celibate. Let me just tell you how many kids he has. <laughs> I thought he was turned celibate. Who, oh, that was a joke that he said. Oh, like okay. said. Also, okay. no one is celibate. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Okay, let me tell you about all. <laughs> let me tell you about all his kids. Okay. His first two kids were with Mariah Carey. Their Rock. names are Monroe and Moroccan. Okay. They, Scott. They call him Rock and Row. Okay. Then he had a baby with Brittany Bell, and her, that child name is Golden Saigon. And powerful queen. He had twins with that person. Okay. Oh, he had just two. Golden Saigon and powerful queen. So now we're up to four kids. Do you think they just call her power or queen? No, powerful queen. (laughs) Okay. Okay. The Goldie could be Golden Saigon. The Goldie's cute. Then Abby De La Rosa, okay, that had twins born June 14th. God, he's a twin. And they were named Zion Mix. Mixaldian. Mixology? And Zillionaire. <laughs> Zillionaire. Zion and Zillion. Okay. And now that's the, the one he's expecting another baby with, that girl. So she has Zion and Zillionaire? Yes. And now that she's so, this is her third baby. No, this will be her sec- or third. But or at is the it a same third set of time, twins? Or second set of twins? Right now, at the same time, he's expecting another baby with this girl called Brie Ticey. And that one is cooking right now. It's almost born. So um, he'll have 10. And, and then, unfortunately, one of his babies that he had with oh, a yeah. different woman, Alyssa Scott, the baby was named Zen, passed away. So after this next baby that, that they just announced is new pregnancy, then there will be nine, including the, the baby that passed. He will have had And with kids. how many moms? Four? Um, hold on. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Five, oh, five. Five moms. Five, five moms. moms. And only two sets of twins or three? Oh. Two sets of twins. Okay. Two sets of twins. Do you think these women are doing it, um, fertility heightening methods? Or is he like a, some kind of prolific twin manufacturer? I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. But all I remember is when I went to, um, oh God, what's the name of the Mexican restaurant? It's, on, it's in Tarzan. It's very good. Mm. Soul something. Many years ago. Before the Kardashians came out, I had dinner with Kim, Chris, and I want to say Chloe or Courtney. And Kim was dating Nick Cannon. And he said, I will just be my baby mama. He had no kids yet. I don't want to marry you, but I'll get you a house in Hidden Hills and have my kids. And she was like, mm, I'm going to pass for now. Well, or she at the it. time, it was like kind of, and and I was just like, I don't know what it is. I'm like, but I just know you're gonna. You have style, and you're so pretty. And you're not a speck of makeup on. And I'm like, you could eat your face with a spoon. I'm like, do, why would you do that? Like, you're so young. Do not do that. I'm not saying I'm the reason, but <laughs> my God, she, right now she could be pregnant with her ninth baby. Oh my! And good there could God. be nine others with nine other women. Ugh. So there you go. Wow. Um, and these are all the babies' names. Do you think he's just going for? He's gonna. You think he's just gonna lean into this and just be like he? Because that he already has. I kind of feel like it's his brand now. Yeah, he like works. every. He only is in the news when someone else is pregnant. He's got so, thirteen different jobs. Like I Ryan feel like Seacrest. he's kind of thinking of. I think he might think of himself as a spiritual leader. I think he might think of himself as a cult leader. Yeah. Like I think in a in a way where he's not entirely, I guess, controlling them in a compound. But I think that's odd to have five women having your babies and asking one to have your babies and I'm not going to marry you. I feel like that's sort of like a weird... Because he has a very engrandized view of his own self. Totally. And I so, think what, I, what I I'm know. confused about is that he had the twins with this one woman who he's having a third baby with her. In between, he got another yeah. person pregnant. I Just, swear to God, he's like a cult person. <laughs> he's like a per- person without a compound. I mean, he's how making... much money does this radio show make? Oh, well, I mean, he what does, the hell? He does, he does Mass he, Singer. Yeah, yeah. He's like he Ryan Seacrest. Right, good. He's yeah. got so many jobs. And that was already really bizarre because he had to be hospitalized at one point because it was like the man was working. He didn't sleep. 
from 3 a.m. because he would show up to his radio show and he'd have to be there at like 5 a.m. And then he was working until yeah, midnight. Yeah, he sleeps he, like two hours a night Yeah, or something. But he, he managed to get his fuck on yeah, still. Yeah, and he's All an, right. he's an and he obsessive wears a turban. person. He wears a turban. I don't understand. I feel like the turban is saying, I think the I'm, turban thing I'm is a, what I really, you're right, that could be I'm a like culty. a spiritual, weird, I'm like a leader. I have yeah. all these women. I'm the father of all these babies. Right. I'm, the, I'm so, he thinks like of himself powerful. as an intellectual whatever who well it's like Hilaria whatever. having her seventh baby like at a certain point or whatever what number like of baby they're complex. on like there is a little bit of that where it's like mm-hmm. I have more babies than you yeah. I don't know very <laughs> strange um, this is exciting news iPhone will soon let you edit and unsend messages oh yes wait after you send them so if you send one and it still says unread you will have time to change it. So, like, let's say I, you know, wrote AM instead of PM or the wrong name or whatever. Um, you'll have that moment to fix it. And I think you'll also be able to unsend a message. But you, not by hours, like within a short period of time of sending it, providing they're not immediately writing you right back. Hmm. And even if they don't have the, er, the, the read receipts on, because... You know how you, it doesn't necessarily say unread, it will say delivered. Yeah, delivered or sent or whatever. But, and I think that's pretty great because what, how many times have you, even if you're not telling a lie or anything, but you're just formulating the text and then you accidentally <laughs> send it and you're like, great, it's like half done. You know how you're just right, writing right, yeah. and then you accidentally somehow send it and it's like, okay, well, that looks yes. bizarre. Well, I yes. mean, the worst thing that's ever happened to me is where I'm texting somebody and they're being super annoying. And so I screen grab that and a photo of it. And then I start texting my friend on the other side being like, what a fucking weirdo this she is. And I've done that. And then I've accidentally written back to the weirdo. Yep. Yeah. Or sent the, Always. or sent the photo of our conversation. And then that person was like, are you sending our conversation to someone? <laughs> yeah. And well, I was like, oh, my God, no, I don't know how that happened. But anyway, we're not friends any longer. Well, I'm, I'm more the queen of talking <laughs> shit while accidentally butt dialing the person. or I. That's my biggest fear oh. on earth. I literally, if I am t- start talking shit about someone, and now I'm like, make sure my phone's turned off. Well, the thing is, is that when I've learned my lesson, but I'm like, they call and I go to press ignore. But now I'm going to now talk shit because they called and I'm ignoring it. And I've been, and I haven't done this in years because of sure. learning this lesson, but yeah. I've somehow not pressed ignore and I pressed on and now I'm now talking shit to Julie. <laughs> but I tell you also, Julie w- is definitely the queen of the accidental text or email. One time this guy sent us the script and then Julie then emails us both and goes, can you believe this douchebag? <laughs> and I was like, and then Julie's like, ha, 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 like immediately right away. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, can you believe this douchebag? And she's like, I just, it was, and he still tried to bug on with the script, too. He didn't, he wouldn't take no for an answer. It didn't matter. But I now remember there was one thing with like a manager agent and there were two uh, guys by the same name. And I was thinking about leaving the agent. I Okay. So let's just call them both Joes. My agent okay. was Joe, and my new manager was named Joe. Okay. And the new manager was like, you got to get rid of Agent Joe. I can get you better Agent Joe. And in emailing, I meant to write Manager Joe and say, okay, let's meet with the new agent about this. And I sent it to Agent Joe, who then read the whole thing and was like, you're thinking of dumping me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it was horrible. I felt bad. Was but there yeah, any way I mean, to get out of it? or did you? Just... No, I mean, I did dump him in the end. But like, that's yeah. not how I wanted him to find no. out. And it looked really bad because he, the agent, had introduced me to the manager. And then the manager was like, this is going to be a great partnership. Get rid of that loser. <laughs> like, it was yeah. bad. And then you also kind of put the manager on blast. Just simply It by... was all disaster. And because more than likely, it, their names were Noah. Or yeah. Michael. I mean, you're, you're. I mean, not to be problematic, but you are. You're, there's only a handful of names we're dealing with here, and they probably did have the same name. That are agents. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. In we're in the agent world. Are you guys aware aware of this weird story? I want to give it. I want to tell it in the quickest way possible. Okay, we are aware, but we'd love to hear you try gonna, and put it. I'm gonna, in gonna in give a shelf. cliff note version. <laughs> this has been so messy, so confusing. Okay. There once was a person named Patrick. 
We don't know if he fell from the sky, if he's actually a person, if he's an actor, whatever. He, all of a sudden, one day, a week ago, he started posting messages from uh, Lisa Renna. Lisa Renna started posting messages for him. They said weird, mean things to each other. Both of their numbers were exposed. Mm. And everyone was like, what the fuck happened? Their phone numbers. Yes. I DM'd this kid, okay? And I'm like, hi, I'm Heather Town from Juicy Scoop. What's up with this? We talk on the phone for a long time. And mm. he tells me I'm from Utah. I'm... I'm adopted. I, I'm starting. I'm doing a show. I've been cast in. It's going to come out in early 2023. Bravo has already picked it up. It's like gay men of West Hollywood or, you know, one's a Saudi prince that doesn't have to work. One's a realtor. He tells me all these details. Okay. Sounds like a compulsive liar. <laughs> okay. <Devils in> the <laughs> details. So I go, well, you know, what happened with you and Lisa Reddick? He tells me, um, well, we went out to Craig's one night. And she kind of was dismissive of me. And then she said a derogatory comment uh, to me about, well, I'm like complexioned. And he took that, you know, that's an inappropriate thing to say to someone who is black. OK, so that, that from there, he tells me they got in some argument and we're writing. And he said, then she said nasty stuff about me, exposing lies about me. I'm like, well, who what? No one knows who you are. What kind of lies could she have done? So then. You know, now my number is exposed and my life is ruined. Then he exposes her number and she's like, what the hell? Nobody knows what's going on. I'm like, well, look, when the show comes out, come on Juicy Scoop. Meanwhile, I'm like, this is all just so weird. I don't know who to believe. Okay. Because meanwhile, the backstory is that uh, Rinna and Kathy are not really talking and that Kathy supposedly used, used a derogatory, a, a homophobic slur on a night in Aspen when the cameras were down, okay? And and Lena, Lisa Renna is supposedly... Exposed that. Exposing it, okay? So you're like, what is this? Then the kid comes out, Patrick, and says, just so you know, Kathy Hilton paid me $27,000 mm. to fabricate this story uh, to make Lisa Renna look bad. Then he goes, no, actually... Kathy Hilton had nothing to do with it. Lisa Renna, who I met at the L.A. Mission and we became friends, we cultivated this whole story to take heat off of, I don't know, it does make no sense, and, and give Lisa Renna a, um, a storyline, okay? And which she doesn't need a storyline for next season. No one's going to be talking about this again. Then there's other bloggers and stuff that are writing him and interviewing him, and that's where he exposes no, this is the truth. No, this is the truth. Then he does an inter then he does an audition where he says, "We were friends. We met at the LA Mission. Lisa and I did this all together. We're no longer friends. You know, we were on it." He he used an analogy of we were on a yacht together, Lisa and I, and she left me in a dinghy to die near the Titanic. I I don't even know. Lisa Ren is like, I don't know who this guy is. Figure it out. Kathy Hilton's like, staying out of it. She definitely has no idea who he is, even if she full on hired him. <laughs> She's and, forgotten that she did that. And, you know, there were DMs that were shared between Lisa Renna and other bloggers and whatnot or Instagram people in which she says, you know, oh, it's, it's so bad what happened that night in Aspen. And I know so much about Kathy Hilton. It'll all be exposed. And Kathy Hilton is just, you know asking Paris what she's going to do with her eggs. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. She's just like smart enough to be like, I'm not touching this. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But she did say on the red carpet, I will be at the reunion. Mm -hmm. And I haven't talked to Lisa Renna. And there we are. But I do think it's, <laughs> I do think it's suspect on Lisa's part that she reached, at one point, Patrick, the compulsive liar, <laughs> he said, I'm going to expose these DMs proving that Kathy Hilton paid me to do this in order to divert attention from the supposed homophobic slur. Lisa Rinna retweeted that or re Instagram that she screenshotted it and the DMS and then she took it down. So for her, she definitely was like here for, Oh, Kathy Hilton hired him. Yeah. She loved that. And then somehow that she was like, lie. Oh wait, now he's saying I did it. And she then pulls those pulls the Kathy Hilton ones down I don't know if now it's she's saying I don't, never met him, didn't know him. I don't know how she had his number, but whatever. Well, yeah, and, and, and why they started this fight out of nowhere. And then I'm like, or was she just Harry was making his tomato sauce? She's dancing alone, 
by herself and her free peoples, and she's yeah. fucking bored. And this kid slid into her DMs, and she played in the pool a little with him, and this whatever. And then he went back and forth because she likes to be people talking. Yeah. And now she's like, well, wait a minute. Now this is getting weird. Let me just step out of it. I don't know who this kid is or what. And then I feel like Patrick is someone that like. Some of the stuff he's saying is true, but he definitely lied about so much that, like, like an Amber Heard, like some stuff yeah. you can you can be a victim. You can tell some truths and and a lot of lies. Yeah, you know it you, doesn't mean that just because you lied about one thing that you've lied about every no. single thing in your life. But there's no way. And but once you lose all credibility, there's really no. We can't just be like, well, he did get money for it's just like I feel like it was like like on a much lower level, like a Jesse Smollett. Like I'm fucking pissed. You got me all involved. I spent time talking to you. Now I'm just like, I don't really care. I wish you well. Um, yeah. But, well, you know, I, know I, wait, I, I believe I, the only thing I didn't believe was that they went to Craig's. I just felt mm-hmm. that seemed so like on the nose. Mm-hmm. And I was like, if I really put this out, which I didn't last week, I could be like, someone go back archive and see were was she at Craig's in the last yeah. two weeks? Yeah. And having dinner, wasting your time with, a, a, you know, a cute gay, a gay guy that she didn't know from before. Yeah. yeah. So I got to be careful when you play in the pool with those vipers. Yeah, you can't dance in the devil. You can't the dance pale, in the, with the devil in the moon, pale, pale, pale blue moonlight. moonlight. <laughs> yeah. You can't do it because someone will come back and be like, oh. Yeah. And for the record, I know the Hiltons are like, they're, they've been problematic, like, to the extreme. I do believe Paris has changed. We stand with the Hiltons, yeah. and of course, they've been through, you know, they've done it to themselves, but they've been through hell and back, and leave it up to Bravo to finally be the one to kill them, to, like, to end the Hiltons and their legacy. I'm like, great. Of course, now Bravo will However, the though, Hiltons. I will say, this rumor that she used a, a homophobic slur, um, not caught on camera, but hearsay witnesses, whatever, on this crazy night in Aspen, which hasn't come up in the show yet, when that came out months ago... yeah. I don't think she lost one follower, one fan. I don't, I mean, so I kind of feel like I don't know that people are up in arms the way they were about two years ago, or they, if they really love you, they forgive you, or they're like, I just don't want to believe it. Or they say, if she, if it slipped out of her mouth as a 62 year old woman. Who probably has 5 million gay friends. I mean, and I'm speaking as the gay here. If yeah. somebody said that to me, or if I saw that, Annie's I would probably think, dabbling. What would you think? I would think <laughs> he was probably being a little bitch, and she got mad, and the, she was drunk, and she responded with the most hurtful thing you could say to that person, and you're looking at them, and you're going to go, you F. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Probably because she well, felt we entitled. Yeah, no, right. we wouldn't. Right. But I think that of this person who's entitled, rich and entitled age and, age and age and a certain generation and blah, 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 that came out. I'm not justifying it, no. but I could forgive it. And I right. wouldn't say that that then defines that person as being homophobic. Yeah. I think that that person and that family has a lot of homosexuals around it. <laughs> and yeah. I don't think they're disowning homosexuals and are afraid of homosexuals and dislike homosexuals. I think that they feel entitled to use certain verbiage because of the fact that they feel that they know something. But I just want to say, that was an extremely good, like... Analogy, explanation, theory, whatever. I thought people was, need to give yeah. some people a little slack. Yeah, and so I think that is one thing you need so to take. You, you need think, to take though, responsibility when when Lisa got this nugget when she witnessed it she when she had a witness. Do you think she feels like she has the golden ticket? To yeah, and she, I think she, I think too- she exposed it to to make Erica be back her friend because Erica mm. was super pissed off at her for everything that happened last season, and they have it in the trailer where it's like she, oh, Erica was pissed off at who Lisa Rinna. And so no, Le- she wasn't pissed at Lisa Rinna. They've, they 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 have been like this the whole time. At the very end of last season, at the reunion, she, Erica was salty at all of them, okay. and I think Lisa Rinna wanted Erica, so she made it her mission to like defend Erica this season. Uh. Kyle asks her, she says. Are, why are you exposing this about Kathy to get the heat off of you? She asks Erica that. And oh, that's Erica in the says, trailer. Yes. And so I think they're also saying it was more than just the F. Homo- yeah. homo- they're saying it's other words or they're implying that really, you know, are are, are, are not going to, you know, Julie's being the gay. All I want to say. The gay, I know that there's other, there's yeah. one word in the whole world that's yeah. unforgivable. Yeah. Right. So 
And I feel like they're, they're that, implying that, unfortunately. Yes, yeah, so I that is unfortunate. But, at but the if same it's time, not on tape or anything, and it's a bunch of eyewitnesses, it's like, well, and I don't know. And people can come back from, I just when it's when it's words. She's not legislating against you. She isn't taking your rights away. She is a woman of 60-something who is an entitled rich white woman who used words that are gross. And If she did, in fact. If right? she did, yeah. in fact. And yeah. I do That's think a person that her whole life doesn't need to be canceled because of something that, you know, it's it's we have to find... And, you know, if you were a parent of that child, right? You wouldn't. What are you going to do? Kill them? <laughs> yeah. Like you, you have to be able to have some room to learn and grow and evolve. And you can say I'm sorry, and you can be forgiven. I just think that in this whole thing, Lisa Rinna should not have stone a th- thrown the stone when you live in the glass house when you've worn well, that's the. the yeah. Yep. I know course. I say it wrong. How do you say the the scarlet letter? No. <laughs> <laughs> When she went as Sid and Nancy with Harry Hamlin and he wore the, um, the okay. T-shirt. Is it like what an anarchy it? or, no, the or swa- Nazi? I say it wrong. Oh, a swastika? A swastika. They wore swastikas? <laughs> so Sid and Nancy. And she's talking about. Yeah, come Sid on. and Nancy. This, I mean, that's Well, crazy. Sid and Nancy, the, punker gr- the yeah. punkers. But they, they went to the, a big, highly publicized Halloween party as Sid and Nancy. And of all the outfits they could have worn, he chose to wear, wear one of the more memorable outfits that Sid wore, which was that. So there's photos of them as that, which they got a lot of heat for. And then there's also her talking to a TMZ guy, joking that she thought he was a gang member <laughs> and that he was going to cap her ass like a South Central gang member. And that was well, like 12 years ago, and all 10 years ago. There you go. This will be but dragged the same out. Thing. Well, I already dragged yeah, it yeah. out. So I'm just saying, like, I, you know, exactly. Get, re- get ready what you go after. Like, is your. Is your closet completely clean? Yeah. No, like, you and know? no one's, no one's is, is, and that's the thing. No one should be. I don't. In my personal opinion, I think there is way too much dragging and canceling, and no, no forgiveness and no of room. There's no room for anyone to 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 trip and fall and be gross and get and and find. Edu- you know, to be to learn and grow. Her, her possibly saying that completely checks out. Like, I yeah, mean, we, we're not being knocked over with a feather. That said. I do find it surprising that the cameras just so hot. there was no hot mics. Yeah. There's no. I mean, that's true. Supposedly Sutton is like that never happened. Then the other ones are saying it did, and there mm. is. I mean, supposedly there's Aspen. like someone who worked at the bar and someone uh, yeah. did. I'm like, what are we going to have a trial yeah. on, on <laughs> right. Law 360 or whatever? <laughs> I'm like, hi, um, you know, your, your honor. Um, yeah, I was working um, the late shift at the Aspen Cuckoo Bar, <laughs> and the housewives were there, and all the cameras left, and I was wiping down a table, and I heard an elder, older blonde woman with a very tight face say something <laughs> that re- like sounded like SAG, but it wasn't that, and... Um, you know, maybe she was talking how about how loud Bob was the music? How loud was it? Yeah, maybe Bob Saget had just died at yeah. that time. We got Camille Vasquez right. in there. And she's like, Do you realize that the, the time that you're in Aspen was one one day after the finding of Bob Saget's body? Like, seriously, yeah. it's just okay, we're done with that. Who cares? Um, um, okay. Um, I, I have to tell you about the weirdest thing that, that we discovered. Okay, I saw a TikTok and it was like this person just going, I got to show you what the weirdest movie I've ever seen. It's called War Babies. No, or Baby Burlesque. And Shirley no, it's Temple. Called War Baby it's Burlesque. called. Shirley Temple calls it Baby Burlesque. Okay. The movie was called War Babies. You guys, you can look it up on YouTube. Shirley Temple is three years old in it. And they, they put all these kids in these diapers, but they're like three or four. And they're acting like like the soldiers at a bar trying to get laid by sex workers. <laughs> I'm not oh my God. kidding. What? Shirley Temple plays like a burlesque, she's three, sex worker who's <laughs> acting like she's making out with different soldiers to get lollipops. Are the soldiers babies too? Yeah, okay. they're all babies. Okay, so the g- g- girls are the sex workers and the boy ones are the war guys. Are the soldiers okay. trying to get <laughs> okay. laid after... More. 
I mean, the age, the good old golden age of molesting the kids, and every single child act actor was. I mean, I'm just thinking it's so hilarious. It'd be so cute when those babies act like sluts. Yes, it's so <laughs> when a baby when acts, acts like, like a hooker. An adult. Yeah. I love when babies act like hookers in bars. It's so <laughs> yeah. cute. It says literally that she goes, "I'm expensive." And makes out with fake makes out with one for lollipops. You know, I did not plan on saying this when I thought of this topic, but I do have to admit something to you guys. Okay. What? When I was about third grade <laughs> okay. for Halloween, I was well aware of what a hooker was because I'd seen yeah. an incredible made for TV movie called Dawn the Teenage Hooker. It was with Eve Plum. Whoa. And Ooh. she wore like a um, really cute, like Pocahontas kind of tan vest and she mm. walked up and down the streets oh was she like a 70s hooker hippie teen hooker? hooker teen hooker like a, a hippie teen so hooker. when you're the Pop. youngest of five and everybody's teenagers and your parents work you are exposed to everything you shouldn't be exposed to as a young kid and you then go to people's houses and then they don't ever invite you back because <laughs> you're like i remember this one girl was like my mom doesn't like it when I put this bread in my hair. I go, why? And the mom is there. I go, why don't you like that hair? And she goes, well, I just, I, you know, the way her hair is jagged here, I think it looks cheap. And I go, oh, you mean cheap like a hooker? <laughs> she called my mom and she's like, I don't know what your daughter is watching. And I'm like, don't you know about hookers? Like they charge different amounts for different things. Okay. The so then gone. I said, my mom goes, what are you going to be for Halloween? And I go, I'm going to be a hooker. <laughs> But I want to do roller skates so that the hooker can get to more houses nice. quicker. And um, <laughs> I think my mom let me dress yeah. the way I wanted. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine. Well, I mean, it's the same. I went as a as a homeless, a bum, a, bu a bum, a hobo, a hobo. Yeah. yeah, but that's what I, horrible. Ooh, I want to be a, like dirt a on dirty. Yeah. I want to shit myself and go into be, have a drug addiction and live on the, like that's hilarious. Like that's so cute. Honestly, I think like, I think I wanted to be a hooker. First, when I was six, and my mom said no, and she made me a farmer. Like, because we never had expensive houses, but she had, we had overalls for when I went on auditions. I always had to wear an overall because yeah. we had an agent. She made me, she was like, No, you know, your little friend's coming over. She's a Hawaiian girl. You're not going to be a hooker this year. <laughs> but by the time third grade came around, she's like, Fine, just be your roller skating hooker. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm criticizing Shirley Temple and her career. I mean, obviously, she didn't know what she was doing at three. No. But These I just thought also... it was really, really fascinating. I'm going to be, I will be on my phone the minute I get into the car and watching every <laughs> single, I don't know if this is a short, and a half minutes. I'm watching that. I mean, I must it is see it. crazy. And I bet it is cute. <laughs> so, well, Shirley Temple's was so I mean, cute. babies I doing mean, things on... are cute, even if they're Okay, fun. so there's this, there's this, there, I, there's this babies doing kids what I said babies doing things are cute even if they're sluts seeking sister wife that's we'll go right to seeking sister did you watch it oh my fucking god <laughs> I mean this season is this particular situation right here this is, is is the whole show so there's this one guy and what I'm he's, okay he's brand so, new right, so there, this, this is a brand new group of seeking si sister wives I talked a little bit about mm. it on Tuesday just one family this is a new family so this girl goes, we were college sweethearts, and um, I always knew, like, I was not going to be the only one. Early on, she goes to work, and she meets this other girl, and she's like, would you like to meet my husband? And the three of them have been a couple that all sleep in the same bed for, like, 12 years. The two girls, when it became legal, they got married to each other so that... Neither of them had a step above. Like, there's always the issue of who's really married to the husband. They're like, no, we're married to each other. He sleeps in the middle. He doesn't work. The two of them have, like, office jobs. They And then the one girl has a child from a previous relationship who's, like, 15. And now they're seeking out the third wife for the show. Mm -hmm. And she's only 22. Yeah. I, that was shocking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was actually yeah. unbelievable yeah. that yeah. she was only yeah. 22. I mean, it was... I felt like the high school sweetheart was, is pretty and was super pretty when they got together. She's the one in the blue. Yeah. She, so, and then I was, you know, I go into a whole thing in my head where I was like, where did they meet this? The original, you know, second one to make the thruple. No, they met at work. She, the, the number one met number two at work and they became friends. Yeah. Which and I was then like. 19. 
No, the one, the latest one is twenty two. I thought, but the one they met that uh, that second one, she, she was, was nineteen at the time. Oh, so what job was she doing? We were wondering if it was a at? like an office job. She said at nineteen. <laughs> so that's what we thought. So we thought, I go where were you working? A strip club? Because yeah, because remember, it seemed I don't a little know. odd. <laughs> Plus, was she nineteen or was she seventeen? I don't know. The whole thing is a slightly. <laughs> Problematic, but I mean, it's what's of so all of this, like I stay home and I read, and then I regurgitate everything I read to them when they come home. Oh, he does they, research while they he cook. does research. He does. Research. I'm like, does anything sound worse? Like you work all day and then you have to cook with your sister wife yeah. while he goes. Um, I was reading an interesting thing about <laughs> uh, the fact that a lot of. Uh, Plastic uh, bottles don't actually get recycled. You're like, oh. <laughs> then you have to do it to them. Oh, I mean, <laughs> like, and that's what's like. Good luck to you. Look, you go ahead, Pat. I'll be. I'm gonna go take a bath. Or they all have to have orgies and stuff. Like they're. They what, do. I, I mean, it's he's just highly, highly sexual. I mean, and talk about a talk about a Svengali. It's like here's the perfect. He's he's got them so enraptured. For, we don't. We we were trying. We were sitting there talking, trying to figure out. I was like, is, what is he? Was like, is he? What's he giving them? What is he giving them? Need? He doesn't provide for them. He doesn't do anything for them besides f them. Apparently, yeah. And I guess like, he's good and uh, uh, so fine. My but dad then, always would say, "Guess he has a twelve-inch brain." <laughs> <laughs> Whenever some guy had like a great wife that, or a girlfriend that had, had nothing going on, my dad would be like, apparently he's got a 12-inch brain. <laughs> We're going to have to steal that. And use that. <laughs> this guy's got a 12-inch brain, apparently. But, but he's not going to talk to me about plastic bottles and then force me into an orgy Which with is a what everywhere year old that looks like she's 45 and definitely does seem like a hooker. The new um, it, oh, there's, us. there's us. There's us. Yes. I oh, remember we did this photo before. <laughs> That's right. So this is Garrick and... And wife number one, and then Roberta, and then they're looking for another girl. Now, on Tuesday, I'd only seen a preview and hadn't watched it. And I thought, there's no way another girl is really going to want to do this. She just probably wants to be on TV. But after hearing her story, she came from a polygamous childhood. And I'm like, and then the boost of like the TV show and stuff. You're probably like, all right, I'll, I've I'll seen check more this out. chemistry between a lesbian and a heterosexual man. Then there was chemistry between that woman and that gay man right there. The, the new girl, the black girl. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Garrick. Or there was zero. I mean, there was. I, I, am I am I crazy? Wait, what I didn't understand is they're like, they live in Colorado and they're like, we came to L.A. to meet whatever her name is. And then they're in the car and then they pick her up at the airport. And I'm so like, I thought she so, lived in L.A. Exactly. It's all fake. It's all dumb. Yeah. And I, it's knew all... We, I was so shook because obviously we, we are all emotionally connected to this particular weird, weird threesome yeah. because we did the photo shoot and we yeah. had to do the deep dive into all of it. And the entire show last season mainly really focused on him, and we were feeling like he was obsessed with, you know, the bitch and wherever she yeah. is. Brazil. And they or did it, Mexico. and then, the you know, she cried, the wife, and he divorced the wife. Right. And all of the wife's friends were like, he's going to leave you for the hot Brazilian. Yeah. And the whole thing, and you're just thinking, he's like, he's got it so bad for this Brazilian. And then it turns out, sweetie, the minute the show ended, he hasn't seen her in over a year. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with the listeners. Like, I'm going to watch every episode of this. <laughs> so if you want to enjoy, like, get in on it, get to know these weirdos, um, it gets better. <laughs> Wait, Heather, go back and let uh, me see that picture of her. So it's Danielle uh. and Garrick. She made her hair blonder. She looks cuter she now. She looks way oh, better. Um, this guy, to... Sidian and Tasha, he looks like... Um, A magician. Yes. Who was that magician that... Um, like David Blaine? No, the other one that was, like, younger, that had, like, black, like... Black nails. And oh, he's like, like Chris Angel. Yes, that. he looks yeah. like he yes. looks like a poor man's Chris Angel. <laughs> yeah. And then this girl he met, and they're not even married. And he's got like three kids. His wife like left him and has nothing to do with the kids. And they are look they're going to be looking for another wife. Then this was a new couple. Mm. Oh, they, uh, wait, mm, mm, this mm, is. Um, mm. Wait, let me think. Their their names are. I think these are different. Wait, I want to say is. Okay, I don't know that this is the right name for these people. I think that might have been the name underneath. But anyway, there's this guy. He came from the Mormon faith. He's got a good body. He was married to a woman, and they had two kids. And then they they found their other wife, who was young at the time, named Brenda. But then wife number one was like, you know what? I'm not into this. So she leaves. And now he and Brenda are looking for a new wife. And they find a girl who's like 21 as well. And no offense, nothing... That great to look at. I thought they were, those two were lesbians. This 
This whole scenario was all in the very closeted for me, this particular threesome. Mm. I mean, I was here for it, but I was like, you know, but Kathy what, Hilton might call you something at the bar. But, I, but what I kind of like is there's one scene coming up, coming up, and his t- kids are like 20 or whatever, and they're like, like they look so weird. They have like a chain oh. around their neck and like oh, that, the oh, nose rings and all this so, stuff. And they're like, we don't agree with how you're living your life, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Like That's the most crazy. alternative lifestyle children on the planet. Are yeah, like, they are no. also yeah. fucked. Yeah, when, just to point out the yeah. lesbianism of it all, that couple, they meet that girl that who comes on, they're, they're, that they're courting that girl for yeah. the first time. She goes in the boat, and what happens is he's driving the boat, and the two of them are eating chips, queso, queso out of a thing, and drinking beer, like... Would you do that if you were the first? It was a first date in your. I honestly couldn't imagine Heather man eating queso and drinking beer. Yeah, they were just lezzing out, eating chips. Didn't Uh, care. Julie was like, they're eating queso. Yeah, like they weren't bush chips. They're eating and and (laughs) they're just friends. And the the muff queso is what they're doing. Like the whole time she was commenting on the lesbian queso. I was just like, what the hell are they doing? (laughs) Or even, or even they're not even into it. I don't know. Just I don't know. Well. Oh, Brittany, I just want to spot. I haven't talked about Brittany in a while. She has just continued to do uh, Forever 21 horrible fashion <laughs> shows for the last week. She has several of them. The brown pumps are in full effect. She also got a pair of mo- motorcycle boots. <laughs> um, <laughs> Heather, don't ever not talk about this when we come on. And um, <laughs> these are just some of her reels that I've highlighted. And then someone asked me, as they do, Heather, why does she have little... Uh, people furniture in the back of her Cheesecake Factory house. And I'm like, I think those, she goes, do you think those are like from when her kids were little or do you think it could be pet furniture? I'm like, it could be both. I don't know. And other people, so I started to read some comments and they're like, I love you, Brittany, but like you're free now. Like, don't you ever want to leave your house? Like, did you want everyone to do anything else? Here's the thing, people. It is good she's free. This might be it. This might be hopefully... And then they're like, why don't you redo your house? Well, redoing a house takes a lot of effort, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm talking to you, all you house flipper people. I Even if you're hiring people, it's a lot of effort. It's appointments, estimates, telling what you want, meeting the per- person at the granite. There's a lot of places mm-hmm. to go and like... No, Hearing it she, all being done, too, in your own home, you're like, oh, this is she, exhausting She doesn't care. She doesn't dislike her house. This is the house. This is what's happening she, uh, she's not going on tour. She's not writing new music. I, this supposed book, this supposed Oprah interview, I don't think any of it's happening. It's fashion shows showing pelvic bones, full stomach, and twirling around. And the dance skills. This is what it's been for months. I mean, I wouldn't take a gander at, at any of these. And, and my first issue that pops up is the furniture in the back or the house. I'm definitely going to deal with her taste level of what's on her body and, and hair first and foremost. But then I then will we can see where I think the house matches her perfectly, in fact. It's, when it's, you look at her. I'm just saying like yeah. you know don't don't make up weird stories and have us all go on a journey that you're having a baby, whatever. Um just is dance. That, is that just her dance. throwing a baby down a slide as well? Yeah. You know, that was like, she also sometimes just takes like things that she finds on the internet and posts that she okay. thinks are cool. Okay. Um, but most of it is just dancing. And um, sometimes they're crazier than others. Sometimes they're a little scarier than others. Uh, the outfits never make sense. Sometimes mm-hmm. she says this is from a long time ago. Sometimes yeah. she, the other day she just showed a red dancing pumps. And I'm like, those are sensible brown pumps. I did comment. I'm like, they're not red. They're brown. And they're back. And they're fine. They're your favorites. I am not being mean about it. But like, and I almost feel like the super fans aren't even talking. They just, they'll like everything. They'll be like, gorgeous girl. My favorite is the green dress. You know? Yeah. Like, but that's it, you guys. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And we're, and that's actually good. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. It's, yeah. it's, it's At least no one's like. You know, taking her money from her, and hopefully she doesn't even have to make any more. If she keeps her same house and keeps her same iPhone. No, that's her Vegas house, right? Or is that her home here? I think that's her home here. Oh, okay. I don't know. I never but if knew. She keeps I, her that was same, I don't think she has a Vegas home. Does she? Oh, I thought that anyway, was where she lived Anyway, if she the just keeps it the way it is, Sam goes and works out, we're going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be fine. Okay. Okay, let's there see that. the pumps. Let's, I just wanted okay, to show yeah. you the pumps. And then I want to show you the tiny furniture in the back. See? Like, what are these tiny chairs? Oh. 
Huh. Yeah, because her children are, are grown men at this point, right? Yeah, they're like yeah. 16. <laughs> well, can you imagine the 16-year-old son sits in the, in the, the dog chaise? There's a bachelor coming out um, with seniors. Slow clap for justice. I might be here for that. I they, love they, salt and pepper. Uh, people don't remember, but I remember everything. They did it once before. Was it bad? Ah, you know, you got to hear about why someone's a widow. There's going to be clearly more women than men, just like every other retirement facility. Um, I don't know. I don't. I think it's worth trying. I yeah. don't. I don't know that it'll be a hit. Maybe it will be because older people do watch traditional TV. So maybe it will be kind of fun. Why not? Is a technical senior I mean, over Annie's 60? not excited. I mean. I think it's like fit people, but they're going to, listen, if you were trying to get on this show, I would say, let your hair go gray, but look fucking hot. Yeah. Like, I know because she's got gray hair and she's thin and she's fit. Like, look really good. Don't try to look younger. Like, let your Botox go out, get your hair gray, but like, maybe you're only like 60. Yeah. And you'll be the hottest one there. Are they doing a bachelor and bachelorette or just the bachelor? All I just know is just like the bachelor, but like. Do you imagine like the sound guys just hearing like fucking like farts and shit? You know how older people <laughs> yeah. fart? Yeah. I mean, we're almost there at this uh, point. Julie older Consul- people are getting me laughing now and I'm like, well, yeah, <laughs> I'm incontinent. I don't know, you know, <laughs> yeah. like how, I mean. Uh, they're going to hear things like, uh, are we going to get a bathroom break soon? My prostate. I got to go, got to drain one out. Huh? Oh, do you take this rose? It's I gonna mean, be and hard. then when they meet the younger, like their kids and grandkids, it's all going to come down to. Is this fucker going to take our money? Yeah. Like, is this whoever it is? Is this guy a dirty John? It, does he really have money? Yeah. Why? And they're not going to be like, but you guys both don't like fishing. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> no one's going to care. No. The kids are going to be like, how much money does this fucker have? Is he poor? Why? You know? Yeah. So it's going to be a lot about what you have in the bank, which when you have the bachelor people, it doesn't matter because they're all like 28. Yeah. Right. So, um, all right, let's wrap it up. Guys. What a day. <laughs> I, hey, listen, Heather, I Napa. had fun even though I had fun even though you got upset about Rob Kardashian. Oh, wait, I mean, I'll, I'll say there were some okay. heated moments okay. on the show today. <laughs> I think the can... mother of boys, I'm a mom boy, like really comes out. Mm-hmm. But I understand as, you know, two people that don't have sons. And, or kids. You know, um, you can't relate to that and we speak out of turn about things we don't know anything about like parenting a lot i stand by it <laughs> but are we but we're I stand by it I stand it's by okay it. though yeah. because i think a lot of people might think the way that you think so it gave it me an opportunity to come from the other side of rich or not like you know if it was a girl that was just a single mom who had a really rich family and all her brothers were super successful and she got knocked up by a weirdo and uh, she was just taking care of her kid at and her the, mom's house. No one would say a fucking well, thing. Well, then got addicted to drugs and got super, super, super depressed and really has a hard time and is struggling. And that person is unhealthy. Made some really cute <laughs> socks. <laughs> I do love that. And they didn't stick with we're it. Rooting yeah. for, we're rooting we, for them like we would for her. And we learned from you that you, you, you know, cook the breakfast because <laughs> that you can re- re- like. For the, oh, that's how they, that's the love language. Yeah. Like it's love language. Just feeding them. Yeah. We, we always, that stuck with us forever. We learned yeah. that. And it's yeah, like, it's, true. we love that about you. And yes, we, there were some heated moments. I feel we made it through. Yeah. There was this one TikTok where this woman's like, I'm so sick right now, but my mother-in-law is coming over with food because she's afraid that her son, my husband, might not get fed tonight <laughs> because I'm sick. Wow. And they were like, sure, they were like 30 year olds. And I thought that was so freaking funny. And I'm like, that is so funny. Like it's some <clears throat> Italian mom that's like, yeah, what's, what's Louis going to eat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Love you girls. Love you. you. Too. Thank you for having us on. Yes. Everyone, you know, I pitch all your stuff. Oh, yeah. Start your, change your life. Oh. We're going to, yeah, go to uh, julianbrandy.com. We have a Patreon. We have a liberal political podcast. If you're not stop liberal. With your bad, li- stop with your bad <laughs> selling. You have dumb gay politics. You also also have a fun uh, Patreon. Follow, I always tag them. Follow them on Instagram. Yep. You're going to see Julie and Brandy at my show. Mm-hmm. And uh, Julie's performing. Brandy is lurking. Is lurking. And yeah. you can say hi to her. <laughs> and um, that is June 17th. And Napa, so glamorous. Love you. Bye. Love you.